Hello, this is Andras from Optic Straight. I'm here at Chacho 2024 at Schmidt & Bender's booth. I'm here with Thomas and we're looking at some of their newest products and one of these new products is the new 3 to 18 by 42 Meta hunting rivoscope. Thomas, right. could you provide some features for us? Yeah, so in fact it's our newest hunting scope, the 3 to 18 by 42 It is our do-it-all hunting rifle scope. Why is it so? Because with the magnification you can do a lot of hunting, very versatile, so you can do something like towards driven hunts, but also uh, stalking, um, but also hand, uh, hunting like uh, from a ground blind yeah, or um, raised stand. It's also perfect to provide you with a thermal attachment, right? So it yeah, has a 42 also, millimeter that's lens. A good, that's a good point. So, you, so it can be also used a, in nighttime. You're right. So yeah. it has a 42 millimeter objective, which is uh, keeping it a very slim and a good, uh, um, for a good handling situation on your, on your weapon. And you can easily uh, provide it with uh, or combine it with a uh, um, front um, uh, mounted night vision. Um, therefore, it has a 42 millimeter uh, objective, but you can also use a rear attached uh, mm -hmm. night vision. So some of our customers are also using this. So that's why we have made the ocular um, that way that we don't have any obstacles. So you can put like, for instance, a part yeah, you just uh, stick onto your um, octor head. Yeah. I understand that the, the radical is like a, like a version of the German four, like. Yeah, it's it's a, it's in fact it's a um, it's a um, reticle number seven. Yeah. It's in second focal plane. So as you crank uh, up or down the magnification, the reticle will stay the same size, which has uh, the advantage that you can also use it perfectly on three time power, so it won't be very small. But you can also use it on 18 power because it won't grow very big. So that's an advantage. And the true magnification is marked by this uh, little knob here. So uh, if you're looking at the nine time magnification, then you know that the bars from left to right have a 140 centimeters. So you can, you say in Germany, it would be like the um, Hirsch Absehen, which is the uh, reticle for uh, um, like um, the stack. Um, so you can also use the reticle, although it's in second focal plane, you can also use it for um, estimating um, ranges. I also understand that this uh, scope is really special because you can choose more uh, elevation turrets, is that correct? Yeah, uh, we have in fact three different kind of versions of uh, elevation turrets, so you can have it very simple, so just cap, so you just zero it in, you cap it and then you're good. But we also got a so-called ASV or BDC2, um, which is um, in, in, in an ASV where you can also uh, lock it with a simple locking uh, mechanism. So if you put the lever towards um, the barrel, then it's locked. If you go to the side, it's unlocked. So you can secure your uh, BDC position. And we got the um, most advanced yeah, version. Most advanced. That would be the BDC to B. B stands for ballistic. Um, which means that you can uh, put the position indicators on any kind of position on the turret according to the uh, ballistic data of your rifle. So it's best to put it on 100, 200, 300, 400. Yeah, as you can see it right here, yeah. So you got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. That's right, that's right. And what's also very nice is that those position indicators are attached to the upper part of this turret here. <laughs> so if you unscrew this screw, you can also do, um, delete it and put a, another um, uh, marked um, cap on it. So which means that you can use it with interchangeable barrels or if you uh, use uh, a silencer or not a silencer, everything which is in fact um, having an impact on your ballistic, uh, you can use um, a different kind of um, t um, upper turret system for um, having it very precise. Yeah. So with this rivoscope, you can either keep it simple or you can go really advanced. Yeah, or it can go very professional. Yeah. What about the mounting properties? I see this one is mounted with 30 millimeter rings. Do you yeah. also have the rail option, perhaps? We also got the the, zail, uh, the rail option, right? That's the so-called LMZ. Um, so that's basically the Zeiss rail we are offering as well. And also, if we turn it around here, what's also new for Schmidt and Bender is that we got the illumination integrated into the parallax oh, adjustment. Yeah. 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 That's really so as you know from Schmidt and Bender, we still have the 11 step um, illumination and between the steps you can switch off the illumination. What I often do is if I go hunting, yeah, I adjust the light and uh, according to the, um, the light situation you're you facing. You don't have to turn it all the way, right? Yeah, you don't have to turn it all the way then to zero in order to turn it off. You just go Brilliant. into the middle position. If something happens, you just go to, your, um, to the selected number and you're right on with the light, with the right illumination. Right. So it's made in Germany? 
It's 100% made in Germany. Um, in fact, all our suppliers are in our region, like about 30 kilometers um, um, from our um, factory. So you could almost say also made in Hessen, which is a, a state in Germany. <laughs> so very regional. Also what's special is that we got the uh, parallax right here. So the parallax goes down to 20 meters, so which makes it good also for close distance uh, shooting. Um, has a, a little mark on the on the 100 meters. Oh, so you can hear a click. Yeah. So you have a click. Yeah. yeah. So if it's like total, if you're like in total darkness, you get a little bit confused. You don't know where your your parallax setting is. You can easily find the 100 meters due to the click, and goes up way up to infinity. So what about the price? Price. Um, would be um, 2,700 uh, euros, including uh, German tax. Of course, verifies the depending on the specification. Yeah. And uh, my final question would be about the warranty. The warranty, we have a 10-year full warranty on it. But if you look to uh, if we look to our uh, Schmittenbender service statistics, if something should be wrong uh, due to assembly uh, failure, you'll figure it out right away. So the first two years are the most crucial ones, and after that, we. Uh, don't, don't face any real problem actually so that should be fine then for for your entire life actually also wanted to mention last point maybe although it's only like a 42 millimeter um, objective we guarantee a light transmission of 92 uh, percent because we're using the same patented lens system we're having in the polar t96 so it's um, a very uh, um, very high quality lens system we are having here giving a lot of light yeah to your die. Thomas, this was a very detailed review. I'm sure our viewers will find it very useful. However, if any other questions arise, just leave it in the comment section below, like this video, and see our other videos. Take care. Uh, thank you.